Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to deal with viewports. My name is David and I'm your host today and uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'd like to ask you, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Please like the video. It really helps us out. It really helps put our stuff out there and we want to help as many people as possible for free. Uh, we'd like to thank those who support us through buying our courses. We'd like to thank those who work with us on a regular basis. Uh, so let's get right into it. Today we're going to be dealing with, I think I said it before, we're going to deal with viewports. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is open your drawing. So I'm just going to go to one drawing that I've been dealing with for a while. I'm going to go to this one. You've seen this before in my previous videos. If you haven't seen our previous videos, please go back, watch them, like them, and that really helps us out. Uh, so what you're going to see here is I've got a little house here. Uh, this is just a little thing I did for my course. It's just a test drawing. Uh, so if you follow my cursor down, go to layout. This is where you're going to deal with your viewports all the time. So this this one right here, I've got my title block. I've already got the viewport set over this, but I'm going to show you how to deal with it. So if you're having issues and if you've double clicked your view, so if you click escape, if you've double clicked your viewport and you're having issues, you can't move anything. You know, nothing wants to move or you know you can move things but you can't really get in and adjust things properly that's probably because your viewport is locked so what you're going to want to do is come down here and you're going to see a little lock icon S click that lock unlock it so it's not blue and you'll see these tools show up so what you can do now is you can move around so you're going to see i originally had it set on this 15 by 15 shed but i moved it over i did previously record this video but my microphone was not working i had to fix my mic and now i'm recording again so First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over. So just like if you want to pan, you can either select the hand tool from here and it'll just keep the hand, or you don't need to use that. If you just want to use, you know, your cursor, you can hold middle mouse and you can move around just like you would in regular AutoCAD in the regular works in model space. Sorry. Um, so the next thing you can do is, you know, go over what you're doing, you know, scroll in, scroll out to whatever you need. And if you're thinking, okay, well, I need it to be a certain scale. If you follow my cursor, come down here, you're going to see this 0.488, whatever. That's your scale. So click that, and then over here, you're going to see an actual scale thing. So I just clicked one over two. Um, you know, there's one, one, to, one to four, one to five, one to eight, one to ten, one to sixteen, one to twenty. You know, select whichever one you need, um, and and this will this will really really help you out when you're trying to excuse me get that going. So I'm just going to tell you now we're going to be working on title plans. Uh, or title blocks next week. I couldn't fit it into one video. I'm very busy. I'm recording. It's almost 7 in the morning. Um, so that's next week's video. So okay, so you've got your scale, you've got everything, but you can still move. So once you've got it exactly where you want it, completely up to you where you want it, select the lock again. So click it and it's locked and you cannot move that drawing. You know, you can't move it. It's, it's going to be locked, uh, which is really good. So if you're wondering, okay, can I have multiple viewports on the same page? You can. Um, we're not going to get into that in this video, uh, but I will be making another video on doing that because that would take a little more time. Uh, and I will, I will show you how to do this again. And then I will also show you how to put multiple viewports on the same page. Uh, I tend to keep one viewport per page. I just add another layout and I print more pages because it's just easier for me. It's easier for the client to see. And sometimes it's very difficult on one page you know, to see multiple things, un or to see multiple sections of the drawing, unless you're doing elevations, then that's the only um, situation where I would use it. Uh, so I'm just going to go to layout two and give you another example. So here I don't have a title block, but I'm going to unlock this, and we're going to go right back over. So you're going to notice that you have, it looks a lot like model space, and it is a lot like model space. Um, so the one thing you have to do when you're selecting your where you want to go is you need to make sure your your buildings and your drawings are spaced adequately apart so that you can get the full building without having to overlap because sometimes if you're too close you're going to get overlap from other other drawings um, if if that's the case then simply grab your drawing move it over because you can move things in this space and then just select it and move it over and then you won't have that issue anymore and then it's like you know if I want more space and I'm still you know it's on the right it's too much but I've still got too much on the left and I go here and then now you can see I've got extra space on both sides so I can just zoom into where I want I'm just gonna do one to two and then there's my drawing right there so once again when you're in this space you can you can you know orbit around you can 
change the orientation like I'm doing here. Um, this is like a 3D look. Um, since I only drafted in two dimensions, this is this is all that I get. So if you click on orbit, you will rotate in a 3D space around your model. So we're just going to do this. We're going to go to our front elevation. I'm just going to leave it right there. And uh, that that's what we're going to do for now. So what you're going to want to do too is just, you know, again, zoom in on your drawing. I'm going to do one to two scale, select your scale, and then I'm going to go over it. Okay, that's good. And then I'm going to lock it. And that's everything. So if you guys are having issues with this, please let me know. Um, send us an email. Go check out our website and we will help you with anything you need for AutoCAD. Um, if you want to support us monetarily, you can join our courses. We're currently having a Christmas sale. It's going till the middle of January and we're offering 40% off so we can give to those more. Uh, we still have administrator costs to cover, so we're literally just covering administrator costs when we're giving it out for 40%. So we'd like to thank everyone for that. Um, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next week in the next video. And in the next video, we're either going to deal with viewport, multiple viewports, or we're going to deal with um, doing your title block. So thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later.